What's going on, Facebook? What's going on? 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 Good morning. How y'all feeling today? How you guys doing today? How you guys doing? What's going on, James? What's going on, Twine? What's going on, Twine? What's going on, Eugene? My guy, Eugene. My dude. What's going on, Miss Sarah? Hope all is well. Happy everybody is well. Guys, do me a huge favor as you jump on. Go ahead and share this out to a couple of people. I would appreciate it. Share it out to your people in your network. I promise what I'm going to discuss today is going to change quite a few people's perspectives and their lives. Um, I'm on my way to my first appointment. Let me go ahead and punch this into my uh, my GPS. Great morning to everybody. What's going on, big Brad? What's going on, Brad? What's going on, Maurice? Let me see here. All right. Guys, listen, I have something on my chest. I had an epiphany. You know I got to share whenever this happens. You know I got to share. You know I got to share. All right, here we go. All right. More life. More life, more everything. Right? All right, I want to talk to you guys. I'm passionate about helping people, right? Um, I remember a time in my life when things weren't so good, things weren't so positive, things weren't so exciting. There was nothing really to be excited about or so I thought. If you guys have been on my page here in the last couple of weeks, you know we had an event at a good friend of mine's house, one of my business partners, and you know there were a lot of elaborate things there. There were beautiful cars, um, there was plenty of food, just uh, plenty of sustenance, abundance in every area. And you saw it all, all around. You saw, uh, you saw the cars, you saw the home, you saw the people that have the results. And, and I know a lot of you guys have asked me about what it is that I do, but I, I don't want to go so much into what I do. What I want to talk about is the idea of gratitude. The idea of gratitude. I hear a lot of people say, man, when I, when I get to that level, when I get that car, when I get that home, when I get that position, then I'm gonna be excited. Then I'm gonna have the life that I truly, truly wanna live. I hear it all the time. Hey Damon, how'd you guys get to where you are right now? You know what, man, if I could, man, if I, if I had your head, I'd cut mine off, you know what I mean? And um, <laughs> I got an epiphany, and I told somebody a story, this story last week. I had an epiphany. Um, sometimes I take a leave. So I played college basketball. Injuries happen, things happen. Um, I've had kind of this ongoing injury uh, in my calf, like it just comes on, it goes off, comes on, goes off. So that morning, I had actually went into the medicine drawer. I went, went and got some Aleve out, and I said, you know what, I'm going to take this Aleve. I know it's going to make me feel better. I know it's going to, you know, give me whatever I need. I know it's going to help me out, get, help me get through this workout so that way I can have an effective workout. I won't be in pain, so forth and so on. So I took out the Aleve. I put it on the counter, brushed my teeth, washed my face, did my whole morning routine, and I got to the gym. Had an incredible workout, guys. Had an incredible workout. I mean, I was in there. Things were flowing. Um, I did a basketball workout. Jump shot was going down. I mean, an incredible workout. So I felt really, really good. So funny enough, I got home, and uh, I'm, I'm going to get ready for my day, going to get in the shower, things like that. And guess what? I look on the counter, and guess what's there? It's the Aleve, right? It's the same Aleve that I had taken out three hours prior that in my mind I thought had given me the ability to, to, to play and to enjoy what I was doing. The placebo effect, if you will. You guys know what the placebo is. So there was a study a long time ago, not to get into that, where they gave some people a placebo, they gave some people the actual medication, and the people that gave the placebo, they didn't even tell them, hey, this isn't even a real medication. This is a sugar pill or something like that. And that's what ended up happening to me. Why do I bring that up? Well, there's a placebo effect that you can play on your mind right now to make you feel as if everything has already worked out in your favor, right? We, we talk a lot about the law of attraction. Um, the law of attraction isn't so much about you sitting in a room, you thinking about the things that you want and that automatically coming to pass. No, there's action that's involved in that. But the law of attraction really more than anything isn't based on what you say. It's more based on how you feel. Well, they say that gratitude is the seed for more. So, a lot of people have anxiety, a lot of people suffer from depression, a lot of people are worried. 
Well, I want you to think about this. Anxiety, depression, and worry only comes from two different sources. <laughs> it comes from anticipating what may happen tomorrow, what may happen the next day, what may happen a month from now, or regret of what's happened in the past, which are things that are totally out of your control. You can't affect anything that happened yesterday. You can't affect anything that's going to happen tomorrow, right? What you can focus on is the present moment and what can you do within that present moment to give you the feelings that you need in order to attract the things in your life. It's called gratitude. So I wanna share this story with you. I want you to act as if right now you are God, right? I want you to just you know, follow along with me on that. I know I probably lost a couple of people there, but act as if you are God right now, this very moment, all right? Let's act like you came down um, in human form, you came down to earth and, and you just wanted to kind of take a survey. You wanted to talk to a couple of people and find out, you know, you know how, how, how have I created? You know what I mean? How are, how are things going down here on earth? And uh, think about yourself as being God and think about you walking up to you, right? Think about God walking up to you and uh, possibly walking up to somebody else like me, right? God walks up to you and he says, hey, listen, you know, I, I was just curious, you know, how are things going right now, right? How are things going in your life? You know, how's the weather? How are things going? And you got that one person that, well, God, listen, man, it, uh, you know, my car broke down this morning. Um, you know, the business isn't really going the way I wanted it to go right now. Things are kind of moving pretty slow. You know, it's hump day. It's hump day. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get through it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, my, my kids aren't acting like they have any good sense. My old lady's always bitching. Uh, you know, I, it, it's cool. Like, it, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Things could definitely be better. So God walks away. He's like, wow, okay. All right, all right. Maybe I could, maybe I could do some things differently. Then God walks up to another gentleman and he says, hey, just curious, man. How are, how are things going for you? And the guy says, Damon Diller, man, things are amazing. Listen, I know it's about 95 degrees outside, but it feels incredible. I mean, the sun is just giving me more life right now. I woke up with such a sense of gratitude. I mean, just the fact that my feet hit the floor, I was excited about. The fact that I had a chance to open my eyes and see everything that God has made. I mean, it's such a wonderful day. And God says, well, how much money do you have in your bank account? You know what, God? I know that I have food in my refrigerator right now. I know that I have life. I know that I have the gift to be able to speak. I know that my family is, my family is safe right now, God. You know what? I don't have a car right now. I don't have gas, but you know what? I have the ability to create that. You know what? Honestly, God, you don't have to do a thing different because you gave me everything that I need right now. Now, I want to ask you a question. If you were God and you had spoke to those two different individuals, who would you want to bend over backwards to give more to? Who would you say, you know what? Man, he gets it. I, you know what, that, that, that gentleman, he deserves more. That lady, she deserves more. Guys, every single day you're creating with your words. Every single day you're creating with your feelings. No, we may not be in the position that we are right now, but what can you be grateful about? What can you be excited in your life about? An exercise that I have people do whenever they call me, if, if they begin to complain, if they begin to kind of stress about things that are going on right now, I ask them, hey, listen, stop. Just stop what you're doing right now. Yeah, listen, if there's a solution, we'll get to that. I promise you will, but stop what you're doing right now. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to give me three things that you are excited about in your life right now. Go. And uh, usually they'll give me the cliches. They'll say, well, I'm happy about my life. I'm happy about my kids. I'm happy about, okay, that's cool. Now expand on that a little bit. Why are you happy about that? And I promise by the end of that exercise, they're smiling, right? Understand that everything that you're experiencing in your life right now is a culmination of your habits. It's a culmination of your decisions, but ultimately understand this or not. Hopefully this concept gets through to you that it is all based on feelings that you've had at some point in your life. It could have been yesterday. It could have been last week. It could have been last year, but in one way or another, you put out a feeling into the universe and you said, you know what? I like that. Now, I don't, I don't care if, and I love using this example, you wake up in the morning, maybe you saw The Secret. Guys, somebody put that in the notes. I know not everybody has seen The Secret, but please, please, when you get a chance, watch The Secret. So you saw The Secret, you say, you know what? I'm gonna attract a million dollars in my life. So you wake up the next morning, you're excited, you know, everything's going right, you're humming through the house, you know, you dancing through the house, I'm gonna get a million dollars, I'm gonna get a million dollars. 
you get outside, everything is beautiful, you're humming and hissing and, 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 and whistling, and you get in, get in a little bit of traffic, and you're like, you know what, this traffic isn't gonna waste my day, I'm amazing, I feel great, I listen to Damon's video, I know how to attract the life I want, right? So you get in traffic, and bam, somebody rear ends you. And then you think to yourself, when in the hell <laughs> did, did I tell God or the universe that I wanted to be rear-ended, that I wanted to get in an accident today, and it automatically messes up your mood? Let me give you a secret. It's not that you thought about an accident. It's about the fact that you put a feeling out there in the universe that said, I enjoy feeling discomfort. I enjoy feeling stressed out. Because again, the subconscious mind doesn't know right or wrong. It, it, it doesn't know that you're happy or that you're sad. All it knows and identifies with is a feeling. So if you're telling the, the universe every single day, oh my God, I'm worried about bills, 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 you know what, I gotta grind, I gotta grind. In order for me to make it, I gotta grind. That's what it's gonna give you back. It's gonna give you more situations, circumstances, people, and events that evolve the feeling that you put out there. Hopefully this is making sense. Guys, if this is making sense to you, please give me a like, please give me a love, please share this out because somebody needs to hear this information. Thousands of people are gonna hear this and, and I'm glad you guys are on right now. So I encourage you, no matter where you are in your life right now, no matter what you're experiencing, please understand that you have 120% control over your life. <laughs> you are in control of everything in your life. You have the gift. A lot of people look at you and they may say, you know what, you're so blessed. Damon, you're so blessed. Well, why am I blessed? You know what, I'm blessed because I'm alive. Because I recognize the gift and the power that's been instilled in me by God. But guess what, you have the same thing. I heard somebody once say that the billionaire and the beggar both had the same 24 hours. So what's your excuse? Guys, go out there today, have an incredible day, apply this stuff, we will see you at the top, not from the top, because you deserve it. Your success is our business. Dream Team, baby, let's get it.